Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is definitely one of the many videos on my channel that fall into the end more category. It's also a video that should be of interest to everyone. I'm going to show you how to neutralize bleach or chlorine almost instantly. There's a few reasons why this is extremely useful and the best part is that the solution is made using only water and one inexpensive non-toxic chemical that's also used as a drug. Now, at one time or another, we've all gotten bleach on our hands. When you go to rinse your hands off with water, you can feel that it's extremely slippery, your fingers. The reason why that happens is because the water does not do a good job at rinsing away and neutralizing the bleach. The one thing I've always done to neutralize the bleach on my hands to get rid of that slippery feeling to remove the corrosive residue from the bleach was to pour orange juice, lemon juice, or even white vinegar into my hand, rub it around, and then immediately you're going to feel that slippery feeling vanish. Once that's done, you wash your hands with soap and water and you're good to go. Right over here is a handkerchief that had bleach splashed on top of it. Now normally if you splash bleach on a colored item, people are going to freak out. They're going to rinse it with water, throw it in the washing machine, and hope that the stain does not get bigger. But almost always you're going to end up with a huge stain even after you rinse it with water and throw it in the washing machine. And it's the same reason as when you get bleach on your hands, the residue is left behind, the water does not rinse it all away, and that bleaching action will continue to cause damage to the fabric. If you happen to drip bleach on a carpet, that's even worse because you cannot take the carpet out to wash it. You could only throw some water on top and hope that the stain does not get any bigger. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can either greatly eliminate or eliminate altogether a stain like this from happening by making the neutralizer that you see right here. To get started, I'm going to show you a few demonstrations and after the demonstrations, I'm going to show you how easy it is to mix this up. For the first test, I'm going to take bleach, which is sodium hypochlorite, five and a quarter percent. Swimming pool chlorine is 10%, twice as strong. I'm going to take the bleach. I'm going to apply some right over to the band in this area and at the same time, put it here. And then one of these I'm going to spray with the solution that I made and the other one we're just going to let it sit and it shouldn't take too long to see how it works. After that's done, I'm going to flip this over and do the same test but I'm going to spray water in an area first on the fabric and then the neutralizer in a different spot and then drip the bleach on top and you'll see how it reacts with that. So let's do this first. So I'm going to put a couple of drops here. Two and do two. One, two. Let it soak in first. And that's good. Let's spray that one. All right. Now we're just going to wait. Normally, you would just take that area, rinse it with water, and throw it into the wash, and you'd end up with a big area that was faded. Now, over here, you can see this area fading. And so far, everything looking good over here. I'm gonna wait five minutes and come back. Okay, I waited around 10 minutes and you can see right over here, with better lighting, the damage to the color on the fabric and the area that was treated using the neutralizer has no damage. Extremely useful. This is something you wanna make and keep in your laundry room right next to the bleach. Keep it under your kitchen sink as well as in your garage. In the event you get bleach on anything, you can neutralize it immediately, preventing damage to the fabric or even carpeting. I'm going to spray some neutralizer right over here. All right, that's good. And over here, I'm going to spray some water. And now I'm going to take some bleach, put one drop in the middle here. Good, one drop over here and we're going to wait. Okay, 10 minutes, you can see on this side here, nothing happened to the fabric. It was protected by the neutralizer. And over here, the water just allowed the bleach to spread out and make a bigger circle. You may have a white t-shirt with a logo that has stains on it that you'd like to bleach out, but you do not wanna risk bleaching out the logo. So what you can do, you take the neutralizing solution you put it over all the areas where the logo's at, like that, all right? And you go over here. It 
Doesn't make a difference if it wicks into the fabric. Just make sure you cover all the areas where you have a logo or the print. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now that that's done, you take your bleach and you can spray over the entire shirt. You do the whole shirt, you let it sit for a while, and what's going to happen, the stains will bleach out, but you will not damage that logo. Once all the stains have been removed from the white areas of the fabric, you're going to take your bleach neutralizer and just spray it on the fabric all over. And then you can place it inside your washing machine. It doesn't get much easier than that. I would have to say for all the uses for this neutralizer, using it on carpeting is probably one of the best. Because if you spill bleach on a carpet, there's not much you can do besides get water and start to blot it. And as the carpet dries, you're going to see those areas that are bleached out start to develop. So if you spill bleach on your carpeting, all right, it soaks in. You're immediately going to want to take this, spray it on. And you should not see any damage on the carpet when it dries. You can apply this, wait maybe 15, 20 minutes, then take a cloth with some detergent and just gently rub over the area and the carpet should be saved. The most important thing when you're trying to protect or save fabric from the damaging effects of bleach is to make sure that you have the neutralizing agent very close by. Because the faster you can get to the neutralizing agent, the less damage you're going to have on the fabric. So right here, you're in your laundry room and you happen to splash bleach all over your pants. So I'm going to spray here. Everything has been wet the same way. You can see this area here is completely destroyed. You would never be able to wear this. It would be going into the trash. And over here, just a faint little area where the drips happened and more than likely it may not be that noticeable and you could still keep this and wear it. But if it ended up looking like this all the way across, you'll be throwing this right into the trash. You're going to take 16 ounces of warm water and you're going to add three level tablespoons of sodium thiosulfate. Now sodium thiosulfate is non-toxic. Some people take it as supplements, it's used in medications, and it's also a treatment for cyanide poisoning. If your swimming pool has too much chlorine in it, this is what you're going to add, sodium thiosulfate. So let me take three level tablespoons and dump it into the water, large crystals. I tried two and it didn't work as good as three. If you're going to be working with chlorine, such as around your swimming pool area, I suggest using four of these in 16 ounces. So one, and three perfect you're going to keep stirring until you don't hear the crystals anymore or see them inside the solution then you can place all the solution inside of a spray bottle now you'll be ready in the event of an accident involving bleach or chlorine and guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.